Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking by Design TV. I'm Beth Pav and this is your Tuesday tip. Well, you know, it's a little cooler outside, the leaves are changing, which means it's time for the holidays. And so I thought I'd show you a few little things that you can do to make your holiday dinners go smoothly and quickly. And the first thing we're going to do is look at a butternut squash. And I have one right here. It's beautiful. It's huge. They come in a few different sizes. I have another one here, right like this, and you can see the difference in their sizes like that. Look at that difference wild. But generally you'll find them more on the larger end. So I'm going to show you how to peel it and then how to cut it. All right. The first thing we want to do because it is a little unstable is we want to stabilize it. So what I'm going to do is cut a little piece off from the bottom just like this. Okay. And that's going to stabilize it, making it really easier for me to roll. Not to roll, rather, but rather to cut. <laughs> okay. The second thing I'm going to do is cut off both ends, just like this. And what you'll find with the butternut squash is it's very tough. So you have to use a pretty sharp knife to cut down and use some manpower to really get those the stem and the end off, just like this. So the thing, second thing, I'm, or third thing I'm going to do, rather, is actually cut it in the middle. And this way, I'll be able to manage peeling it a little bit. It'll make it easier for me. Here we go, coming right down. Using that knife, use some manpower. All right, and there we go. I have two pieces. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my top half and I'm actually gonna slice the skin off with a knife. This is a really easy, fail-safe way. The outer coating, or the skin, is very, very tight. It's very hard, and so you want to really get your knife in between the flesh and between the skin to get it down from the top all the way towards the bottom and to the end. There you go, knife sliding smoothly down. Now the next way you can do it, there's two ways to peel right here. The second way is using a peeler, all right? This is an alternative way and what you want to do is take your peeler and peel all the way from the bottom up to the top. I think this is the easiest way to do it. Or you can cut from away from you, coming from this top away from you, just like that. It's up to you. So now that we have one half cut and or peeled, what we're gonna do is cut this into pieces. And what I like to do is cut it in half. And this is a great way to cut your squash if you're going to boil it for soup or if you're going to roast it for your holiday dinner. So just cut it into quarters, or into thirds in this case, and then make even pieces just like this. Just like that. All right, now let's look at that other half really quickly, okay? This is the half that has seeds in it, all right? So let's pretend I peeled it for all intents and purposes. What I'm gonna do is cut down the center just like this, and now I have two sides, and I have seeds. And so what you want to do before you cut it is take those seeds out just like this, using a spoon. Okay, we're going to round it in with our spoon. There goes my seeds, and that's just okay. And then I'm going to put it right into my compost bowl, like that. And that's how you remove the seeds. There you go. So there's a few quick tips for your holiday to make your holiday cooking easy and simple. Learned how to peel a squash two different ways with both a knife, slicing, and with a peeler. We showed you how to cut it and also how to take the seeds out. And that's Cooking by Design TV. That's your Tuesday tip with a few bonus tips in there. I'm Beth Path, and we'll see you next week.